Hello, Mike here. Now you might have heard rumors about a brand new Amazon Web Services console that's being released. Well, it's here and it's rolling very slowly across the globe as we speak. So let's take a really quick look at what we can expect to see in it and answer that really important question. Does this mean that I have to learn everything all over again? So let's take a quick look at the old console, just to remind us how it was laid out, as if you could forget. You log in and you get absolutely bombarded by every single service that Amazon has. And um, obviously there are lots of them and they're growing all the time. I remember when you could log into this and it would sort of occupy just the sort of the first half of your screen. Now you have to scroll all the way down to see absolutely everything. Not a, not a major big deal. You could always go to the services menu. You could look at the different services groups here. So um, this update is a lot about look and feel. Let's jump into the new console then and have a look at how it looks now. So here's the new console. They're following that design paradigm where everything has to go really faint and light so you can't see it when there's lots of sun on your screen. But anyway, let's move beyond that. They've got uh, some sections on the on the front screen here. They've got quick starts, which is a new thing. The Amazon services section, which looks an awful lot like what it used to look like, but you can customize this. I'll show you in a minute. Um, a recommended for you section at the bottom. So obviously they're just trying to push you off to various different bits and pieces of documentation and the same on the right hand side. So it's these two sections sections here which are the main difference the the tab bar at the top the toolbar at the top is exactly the same so quick starts um, they've got these six options here so you've got uh, build a web app launch a virtual machine um, various things like that so build a web app if I click that it'll just take me off to Elastic Beanstalk and the Elastic Beanstalk interface looks exactly as it used to do uh, launch a virtual machine obviously that's going to take us to the EC2 interface of the console again that looks exactly the same these two over on the side here back up your files or analyze big data big data what they do at the moment is they take you off to documentation so they take you actually out of the console off to a documentation site all very um, very good maybe they'll replace these icons with other things in the future um, and maybe we'll get more announcements about that soon um, but we have a couple of options here which are a bit different so we've got build a back end for your mobile app this takes you off then into the uh, mobile hub um, but this is the this is an interesting one here host a static website so if I click on that, it takes me, well, obviously, you're thinking S3, right? And I guess underneath this, uh, underneath the layers of this, it is S3. It gives you a little um, hint here at the side as to what we're launching for you. Um, but we can launch a website right from here. So um, what can we do here? Um, Hello World is probably, uh, I don't know, can we use that? Let's have a look. Um, I've typed in Hello World for the name of the website. I'm saying give me an example website because I don't have any code to hand, but I could upload code in a zip file um, and create a website. Simple as that. Click the button. Let's see what happens. Um, so this is one of the quick start sections of the console. Uh, it's giving me a progress bar and it's taking me through to uh, a new console page here. What's this doing here? Oh, it's actually, is it putting it up into CloudFront as well? Wow, that's... Um, a little presumptuous but that's okay I've got uh, free tier on this account um, so what have we got here we've got uh, get a sneak peek of your website we'll click on that in a second uh, source code you can just drag source code onto here drop drag, drag a zip file onto there and it'll put it up into s3 um, managing your domain there obviously it hasn't bought a domain name for me which I'm quite pleased about <laughs> and obviously it's setting up CloudFront here which is interesting okay let's take a sneak peek at the website there we go Congratulations, uh, you just hosted a website on AWS. And um, the URL for this is uh, aws-website-hello-world hyphen a lot of gobbledygook which is making it random so it's uh, set up an s3 bucket for us we can see um, it's dropped in some source code and we've got a hello world website there we go that was pretty quick and interestingly enough it's setting up cloudfront for us as well anyway let's get back to the main page of the console and carry on so back here we are. Um, what we are now seeing down here is the shortcuts and recently viewed services. So because we've been into Mobile Hub and Elastic Beanstalk, we can see these being added here. Um, if I just go in the old fashioned way and go back into something like IAM and then I'll dash back out again. 
then it's starting to show these services up in here as well. So it looks as though the orange clock on the right hand side basically means it's recently viewed, which this list means as well. Um, but we also have on the side here a star. Um, and what this star is just uh, indicating uh, whether you've sort of favorited it or not, which you do in the same way as you did before. So you, you click edit on the toolbar, you go and choose something that, like I'm going to choose IAM and stick it up at the top and click edit again. Now you've got IAM as a shortcut in the toolbar. Now you could do that before in the console and now in shortcuts and recently viewed services it'll have a purple star there to show you that that's what you've done. So that's pretty cool. So you can hide quick starts because I guess after you've used them a couple of times maybe you're not that interested but you can hide them. Uh, shortcuts and recently viewed services remains there the whole time but it only lists I think six um, it doesn't get any greater than that. And then we've got the AWS services section here. So as I said, it looks very, very similar to the way it did before. Obviously, there's a bit of style changing there. Um, but what you can do is click here and say show categories. And this is where it changes quite significantly. So now if we just sort of take a step back and have a look at this screen, I think this really is the brand new AWS console. This is really the way that they're clearly wanting to take it. But I appreciate that they default to a view which you're familiar with if you've used the console many times before. So this view then has these large icons which are the exactly the same groups of uh, groups of services as we saw before and when you click on the icon it expands open and it gives you the same list inside of it as you had before. So now you're able to navigate around and I think from a point of view of uh, Amazon Web Services having so many services this is a better way if you've never experienced the console before to navigate around the services. So really it's mimicking quite a lot what the services um, menu does at the top, um, but it's just added it in here. What I'm seeing here is iteration one, if you like, of the redesign. They've obviously got um, double ups, which is quite common, I suppose, in uh, in, in user interface. Um, but I think they'll probably migrate to having this as being the default view um, for brand new accounts in the future. That's, that's, that's what I think. But anyway, so show all services like that back to the normal view show categories this is this is really where it's at one thing i will notice you can expand all of these if you wanted to <laughs> um, and if you do that you actually end up with um quite quite a terrible interface but i suppose the idea here is that you can um just expand the ones that you use often i guess so um maybe if you're interested in having your security tab open and uh your compute tab open then you know you've got ready access to just those things inside the console i don't know um early days we'll have to get used to it and see how it works for us i think this really uh helps the console scale right so amazon web services is all about scaling um i think this allows us to scale into far more services without having a having all of those icons all over the front page i think this is a step forward i think it's for the better so the big question that we needed to cover um does this mean that we have to learn everything all over again and the answer of course from what we've seen here is no um the the, the toolbar at the top is exactly the same so if you use that you're fine in addition to that, when you jump into the individual sections like, you know, EC2, for example, um, you're going to see a console screen which is exactly the same as it was before. So this isn't a, a, you know, a redesign of everything inside of AWS. I guess we didn't really expect that. It's a really nice step forward. I love the new clean design. Um, and I think, uh, yeah, I think it's a really good step forward for them to be able to present to us a console which is going to scale for the future. Let us know what you think about the brand new console. Don't worry about having to relearn everything but you do still need to keep your skills up inside of amazon web services head over to acloud.guru that's acloud.guru take a look at all the courses which are on there which help you skill up in amazon web services there are certification courses up there to get the essential certification that you need to really stay relevant in this cloud world that we live in but there are also deep dives into different technologies and there are security courses there by yours truly the which help you remain secure in Amazon Web Services as well. So thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and do all of those things and share the video so other people get to look at their brand new Amazon Web Services console.